seven of my favorite med ball exercises. Let's go. Hey there, this is Coach Chris Wilson here in the Critical Bench Compound on the turf, and I have three different types of med balls at my feet here. Uh, first off, I just wanna let you know if you're newer to training with a medicine ball, then you probably need to know what the three types of medicine, medicine balls are and that you're doing, you know, picking the right one, okay, for your, for your exercises. So before I get to what my seven favorite are, you got three different kinds, right? You have your big leather bound uh, med ball that is great. You'll see if you watch old uh, Rocky movie, right, you'll see them using a big medicine ball like this. This is great for throws. This is great for uh, stuff against the wall. It does bounce a little bit, but not too much. And uh, it's nice and soft and easy to like catch uh, and easy on the, on the hands and stuff, so to speak, right? Because it's, it's got a soft outside layer to it. So that's, that's probably my favorite of the three. The se my second favorite would be this um, slam ball here. So this is a rubber ball. This has no bounce to it. It's rubber, it's inflated, but it has a center core to it that's very, very uh, uh, heavy and solid. Like, you know, it's probably like just like a, a little ball in the middle of different sizes, almost like a bladder that they fill to a certain weight. And then that's the weight of the ball. But the outside part is very still like soft and squishy and rubbery. But when it lands, it lands. It does not bounce, it doesn't do anything. This ball does bounce a little bit but not too much. Now, what you also have is the really hard rubber bouncing medicine ball. So these typically only go up, well, I mean, these can go up pretty heavy. This one's 12 pounds. This is my least favorite. Um, this is great for doing like ab specific exercises, like if you're doing tw Russian twists with a bounce, if you're doing like a medicine ball push up and you wanna put your hands on top of a, a med ball to do it. This is good for that because it, it doesn't really give it all. It's, it's, it's really solid and hard. But um, I, I feel limited sometimes with this med ball. And so I do have a preference for these two because this one is the one that has a lot of bounce to it. So <laughs> this one bounces more like a traditional ball, although it is weighted, so it's gonna not bounce like a basketball would. But so for the sake of this video, my seven exercises, are using those. So I'm gonna put this one back on the med ball rack because I'm not using that kind of med ball today. So my first two throws are slams. So it's a, 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 a direct slam in front of my feet. So just a slam, a, a, med, a med ball slam you could call it. You could call it a slam ball throw. It's just straight down to the ground, back up with triple extension. And then I also love a crossbody slam. So these are my two favorite exercises with the slam ball. So I'm gonna stand here. In fact, I'm gonna position myself a little bit at an angle so you can see what's going on with my body when I do a, a, a slam. I'm gonna get triple extension. So that means my ankle, my knee, and my hip all extend for this exercise to go correctly. It's an explosive and a very fast exercise. I see some people do these and they do them really slowly. The idea of it is it's, it's explosive, it's fast, and you wanna be fast and furious with it, probably get your 10 to 15 reps and done. So this is what they look like when I do them. I go triple extension, down, instantly catch it, and back up. Boom, three, four, five, six, so if you notice, there's very little wasted time with the exercise. Pretty vigorous, pretty fast, pretty explosive, and I'm using my whole body to slam the ball to the ground, but as I slam it, I'm following the ball so that once the ball kind of hits the ground, I'm here to instantly pick it back up and repeat the motion, okay? So that is how I like to do your traditional slam ball. Now, there's a crossbody slam, which is more of a side to side motion. Very rhythmic, you get some rotation at the trunk. 
and you get some pivoting at the feet, just like you would with any kind of sport where you're, you're rotating the trunk, you're gonna pivot like baseball, you're gonna pivot that back foot. Tennis, you're gonna pivot. So very much like that, you can hear I'm already breathing heavy because it doesn't take much to get the heart rate up. That's why I love using these for workouts. And you could take any one of these exercises individually and make and add that into a workout or just take a few of them and create your, your workout, a whole workout just with the medicine ball. Two, three, four of these exercises, as many rounds as you can do in a, you know, say a 15 to 25 minute period of time if that's what your, your aim is. If you're going for conditioning, explosive stuff, taking a break from a uh, kind of heavy weight training. Okay, so this is like that, but again, I'm very quickly picking it up and transitioning to the other side. So I'm, I'm rotating and I'm slamming right down at my toe, like right in front of my toe on each side. So here's what 10 of these look like. So here, boom. And if you lose your balance a little bit, totally normal, it's okay. Okay, so again, pick your weight. For you, maybe you wanna start with a 10 pound ball. Very light, very easy, easy on the body. Maybe you start 10, then you increase to 15 or 20. This is 25 pounds, so I'm feeling it. Heart rate's up, breathing heavy. Again, it doesn't take long, but I recover pretty fast. So you can do 10, 15, 20 of those. Give yourself some time to recover, calm down. Let your breathing regulate a little bit. 30, 60 seconds later, then you can attack that same exercise again or go to another exercise. Now, before I show you the next five, I wanna share with you one thing real fast, a workout series that I created called Med Ball Mayhem. And it's a series of different workouts using medicine balls, just like you see in this video. Lots of different exercises for legs and upper body, core, you name it. If you wanna check out that series, go to the pinned comment below and you have a whole bunch of different workouts that you can choose from and try and enjoy. So give those a shot. When you're done watching this video, check those out, okay? Pin comment below. Now, let's move along to some throws with the big boy. All right, so now we're transitioning from the slam ball to the big boy. My favorite kind of med ball, the oversized leather bound uh, med ball, which is great for throws. So I'm gonna show you two of my favorite long distance throws on this turf area here. You don't need to have turf if you're outside on the grass, as long as you have some space to work in because this ball will roll pretty well uh, with your throws. So I'm gonna be doing an overhead throw and then I'm gonna be doing a backwards throw. Both of them are, are great, uh, but th there are a little bit of a difference between them. So let me set up first for my overhead throw. So I'm gonna have more of a staggered uh, foot stance with this one, okay, which is one big difference between the two. And then I'm just bringing the ball back behind my head and then I'm releasing it, really dumping my energy forward into my throw. And that ball's gonna go out pretty far, anywhere from probably 10 to 20 feet in the air and then it's gonna roll ways. But what I'll do is I'll chase after it and throw it back. So let me, let me work like four reps here so you can really see what these look like, all right? So I'm back, throw, I chased. I set back up, other foot forward, throw, chase. Here, set up, throw, chase, and throw. Now, that's a great drill to do solo, of course, but if you have a partner, you could stay in the same spot, which is kind of neat too. So it would be rapid fire. You throw, your partner gets it, throws it back to you, and you can kind of stay in your own uh, spaces at the end. So either way you do it, it's great, but it gets the heart rate up, uh, it's fun, and depending on the, the weight of the ball you're using, 
you know, obviously a 10 pounder is really gonna sail on you, it's gonna go pretty far. A 20 pounder to a 30 pounder, you're gonna work a lot harder, throwing less distance, but having to generate a lot more power into your throw, right? So, more demanding. Now we're gonna do, let me grab my ball. Now I'm gonna set up for my backwards throw. So my backwards throw, my feet are gonna be more outside shoulder width. And what I'm doing here is I'm digging in, I'm getting low, and I'm, I'm launching the ball back. So I'm sending my weight backwards here. So even, even with nothing in it, if I simulate it, I'm gonna kinda of stumble or fall backwards because I wanna really generate power back. So same idea where I'm chasing the ball here. So I'm gonna really launch it, woof, run and get it, down low, launch it. Now you can kind of do a high throw or more of a power line drive throw like this. And then go, go get it. End of the turf here. Run it down. I'll do one more. Watch me close. Down, drive. So those are great fun. Again, you're digging deep, you're opening up those hips, and you're using your legs and hip drive to launch backwards and really send that energy back behind you. And then just dig in, run and get that ball. Or again, if you have a partner, amazing. Go back and forth. That exercise we do regularly here at the compound. And we love all of these, but those in particular are so much fun and you can kind of get competitive with it too. How far you're throwing it, stuff like that. So now you've seen four. Two slam balls, two great uh, big med ball throws. Now we're going to the wall for three more of my favorites. We'll see you there. Okay, so as promised, three exercises using the wall here. And again, I have the big, large size med ball. Uh, I grabbed a 30 pounder because uh, for a few of these exercise, actually for all three of these, sometimes I'll go a little heavier and just go with fewer reps. So that's fun to do, just like what we do with regular weight training, right? Sometimes we go more weight, less repetitions, you know, for strength. And sometimes we go more for hypertrophy. So we work with more moderate loads for higher repetitions. So you can do the same thing with your med ball training. Mix it up, challenge yourself in different ways. Do time sets instead of always counting a number. A huge recommendation, maybe just do something continuous for 30 seconds. So it's all out effort for 30 seconds. You, you make that up on your own. Now, the first one I'm gonna show you is a rotational toss. So the, the 30 pounder, once you pick the 30 up, then you know you, you got some weight here, right? So my, my daughter, not that long ago, was about this heavy. And I knew every time I picked her up. Okay, so what you wanna do here is you wanna focus on rotating the torso to complete the throw. Not trying to just do it with your arms. This is not an arm exercise per se. You are using your arms and you will actually feel like your biceps, your grip, your forearms will fatigue, but you really wanna feel the power coming through the trunk and the, and the hips, right? So you're here, the med ball is pretty low, kind of outside the hip, and then you're rotating and power into the wall. Boom, pop. Seven, catch, right back into position, boom. Okay, so again, when I'm holding that ball, like I'm feeling it, that's 30 pounds, you know, dead weight, boom, boom. But you can really work on being explosive the heavier the weight you go. The lightweight one, you feel like you're just gonna, I don't know, almost feels like if it's too light, I don't think you can really put as much effort into it. It doesn't feel as natural. You have to work harder with the heavier ball, which I do, uh, I do enjoy that. So here, just so you can see it from the other side, what it looks like here, power, boom. And sometimes you don't catch it clean, so you gotta just re, you know, adjust to the ball. Uh, sometimes like your grip just starts to go on you or the ball's slippery, whatever the case is, you get sweaty. Just get, That's what's great about this big ball because it's big and soft. 
just, just hug it, just crush it with your arms and just keep that rotation going. Keep the power coming from the middle. Now, the next exercise I'll show you is a scoop toss. I'll go with the 20 pounder for this one. Scoop toss is a little different. So I'm gonna be bent over, hip hinging. The, the, the weight's gonna be right here, right between the knees. And all I'm doing is I'm just loading the, you know, or throwing the ball this way. So I'm front loaded and this is really great as a finisher for your shoulders, for your core, and even for your posterior chain because of the posture you have to hold. So I'm like this, I'm down low, I'm like this. So you're gonna feel your biceps. Again, all of these throws, all these exercises with the med ball require a lot of core stability, holding positions, and responding to this weight that's coming back at you, catching it and, and throwing it back. So uh, love that exercise. It's a, again, great finisher. Uh, really can fatigue the biceps, the muscles in the arms, can get really tired just doing this repeated throw, underhand scoop toss. So rotational toss, scoop toss, and chest toss. So one of my very favorites, this pairs really nicely with like a push up. So if you really want to obliterate your chest, try doing like 10, 15, 20 of these explosively, and then drop to the ground and do some push ups. So chest toss, I'm here. Notice how rapidly I, I work through this exercise. So I'm here and I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna catch it and pull it right back into my body. Pop, pull it in. So much like that, when I was throwing the, the slam ball to the ground, as soon as that slam ball pretty much hits, I'm catching it and bringing it back up over my head. Same idea here with the chest toss. I'm here, I'm pressing it out and pulling it right back into my chest. Pop, pop. So the ball doesn't travel very far. I'm, I'm, I'm positioned, if you're too far off, watch what happens if you're too far off the wall. If I'm back here, I can't really catch it. I can't generate enough force with a 20 pound ball, maybe a 10 pound. I can't generate enough force with a 20 that if I'm this far back, then I'm gonna catch it clean and be able to repeat the movement fast. So you gotta make sure that you're in close enough so you can catch it and pull it back in. And I just absolutely love that exercise. Very explosive. Anybody who wants to get better at bench press, at push-ups, any kind of pushing motion, if you're an athlete and you're training for football, great exercise, because that's where you're jamming the guy in front of you. And that's very powerful, very explosive. And you can really work up. You can go to the 30 pound ball. You can even go heavier. Go for those reps and really get that uh, strength endurance working for you. So notice my heart rate's up. I got a good sweat going. I've shown you seven of my very favorite med ball exercises. Mix these together any way you want. Take two or three or four of them and just cycle through. Spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It, uh, probably if you're doing it right, after 20, 25 minutes, of doing a lot of med ball work, you're gonna to be toast because of the explosive nature of the exercise. It really gets your wind, it gets you sweating, and it's very fatiguing, much different than more traditional bodybuilding exercises. Very dynamic, uh, you have to be athletic to do a lot of this stuff, and it requires just like a lot of different muscles uh, that are working for you, and the heart rate is just really rocking right now. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you want some, really great follow along med ball workouts. Check out med ball mayhem in the pinned comment below. I know you'll love it. It's me in there doing some of these movements that you've seen today and a whole bunch of others that you have not seen. Pin comment below. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to our Critical Bench YouTube channel, and please leave me some comments or questions. I would love to hear from you. We'll see you soon.
Thank you.